or something. And I am about to announce a new game. Liberation 2. So anyways, uh, it's time to discover what we've been crafting in the shadows. I hope you brought a trailer at least. I have. Roll the trailer. All right, here we go. This is Mirage. This is uh, remastered. Uh, Assassin's Creed 1 remake. Grab it by its little snake neck. Grab it by its snake Bossa balls. At oh, boss. Uh, this is, I think this is a character from Valhalla. Thought you were. I am. Am I right? I think this is Mirage. Ready to sacrifice everything. Oh, this lady's boy. Oh, I know her. She's an arcane. She's in all the shit. This woman's voice is amazing. Yeah. Are you ready to leave your life behind? I didn't. I didn't also, Ghost I didn't. Simulator 3 didn't skip the sequel. Go to Duty is the second I one. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Mark. Uh, one of the comments in your chat. Right. I didn't. I didn't finish Valhalla, no. But I, I know about him because I have a friend that plays him, and he rants about the new games to me because he doesn't like them. <laughs> so he rants about the stories and shit. And I know that name, Basim. I think he's in Valhalla. Holy crap! An assassin. What? This game's got assassins. Oh, this one might actually be about assassins. I've heard like the last couple have not really. They've kind of been about assassins, but not really. They've been more warriors. Yeah. yeah. They've been they've been Witcher characters. And from the oh, my neck. I mean honestly, straight up a new Prince of Persia in this style would be great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Even though it'll just be an open world shit stain, but Ow. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Ezio's like, I didn't need to do that shit, dumbass. <laughs> What's up, uh, greedy? Oh, hell yeah, thanks, thanks for the support. I love this woman's voice. Yeah, no, we know this is a size three. Dude, if this is like Brotherhood, then I'm fucking in. Sounds good, brother. It's still my favorite one. Oh man, yeah, give me that sword back, bitch. So I got the eagle going around. <laughs> nice. From this day forward, <laughs> Assassin's Creed Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. A hidden one. I'm a hidden one, right in the open in public. Chris got to see. Doesn't matter, he's about to die anyway. So. Ah, pocket sand. Nope, sorry. Doesn't work. Yeah. Yep, there you go. That'd be kind of cool if this is like. Just an old school Assassin's Creed game, open world but not huge, and then they still also have the open world ones also. Just for both fans, both set of fans. That's pretty good, Charlie. Well, will you look at that Assassin's Creed Mirage, everybody? <laughs> and here to tell us more. That was a pretty. That was a pretty good trailer. Narrative oh, director yeah? Sara Bolier. Thank you so much. Actually, it made me kind of intrigued. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Sarah, a little horny, maybe. A glimpse of Mirage. What can you tell us? That make you horny? Very special. All right. Well, well, that's pretty adventure. good. Well, indeed, it is special. We go back to the roots of the series. It's been 15 years, as you know, and we want you to <laughs> Mirage from Apex Legends. Yes. Adventure game that you know, narrative-driven game. Uh, we've been He's going to be saying funny quips. You say that, but actually Roger Craig Smith voices uh, Mirage in the Apex Legends, in from and he was at the Yes, so, you're right. You it's Basim. It's 20 Basim. years before Valhalla, so it's a young Basim. I was right! Coming from a street thief to a master assassin. Oh, fantastic. And, and so where does his kind of <clears throat> adventure begin? Well, it begins in Baghdad. Uh, it's the beautiful, magnificent, vibrant city of Baghdad. Uh, I don't think this is the last thing, because I think there's a rumor about there being three Assassin's Creed games in the showcase. So. Jesus. 
That's yeah. amazing. I know well, they have like that live service one, and then I'm assuming there's gonna be like some mobile shit. Uh, special to use. What the hell is the live service one gonna be? Just an MMO minus the MMO. Part? It's gonna be like a big, like ever expanding Assassin's Creed game, where every year they'll have a different setting or whatever. Character, we do have Russian that you spot. I mean, traitor. She's Basim's mentor. We also have a lot of history. I mean, that might be this. I have no idea. Assassin's Creed, so political leaders, for example. I have no idea. Not just. Oh, there's so a VR game also, very, yeah. Very Did that not get cancelled? Well, what a setting and, and what yeah, history cool. to get your teeth that, yeah. into, but we're yeah. obviously about <laughs> exclusives <laughs> here. Have you got any more? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, we got Did you recognize the voice from the trailer? I did, actually. Can I, can I, can I reveal it? Can I reveal it? Yeah, you know. It was the Emmy winning actress, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Shuri yeah. Agdashlu. It was. Um, it was. Shuri yeah, Agdashlu. I want to know her name, yeah, so I'm going to try to remember. Yeah, there she is. going to be portraying Russian. So she's going to be the voice. Everybody knows that fucking that you voice. The trailer, actually, and the whole team is very, very glad to have her on the She is fantastic. Yeah, Such a recognizable voice. War II saying, I'd be sick. Well, and we were lucky enough to catch up with Shori earlier, and she had this Shuri, very special. Shuri. Actually, yeah, it'd be pretty fucking sweet. Assassinate Hitler? Fuck it. It's never Elite does it every game. There she is. I am Shori Agdashlu, and I'm thrilled. How do you have that voice? The voice the fuck? Decades of cigarettes, cartons a day. Look, her teeth look wonderful. Me to voice this character. If you can afford to go to a dentist yes. every day to have them polished. <laughs> every day. Or, you know, you just get fake teeth. She's a true warrior. She could just do it.